Hi everyone, welcome back to the Coder Shop channel, where we simplify order for you. Today we're going to dive into the inventory management, focusing on a crucial concept, make to order, or MTO. It ensures that items are only manufactured when there is an actual order, helping businesses reduce our stocking and optimize resources and efficiency. So let's explore how MTO works in Odoo and how we can use it to improve your inventory management strategy. There are a few things we need to configure to make MTO work. Let's go through them step by step. First, we need to make sure that multi-step routes are enabled in Odoo. To do this, go to Inventory, Configuration, and Settings. Then scroll down to the Warehouse section and enable multi-step routes. Don't forget to click on Save to apply the changes. This setting is essential as it allows Odoo to manage workloads like MTO. Next, we need to make the MTO route available. This archived by default because not every company needs it. So again, click on the configuration menu and under the routes, we need to use the archive filter in the search bar to see archived routes. Now we just need to tick the box next to the replenish on order option, click on the action button here, and then click on unarchived. Once you've done this, remove the archive filter and you will see that the MTO route is now active. Now let's configure a product for which we will use the MTO workflow. To do this, let's open the products menu, select an existing product or create a new one. On the product form, click on the inventory tab and under the operation section, you will find the routes, including replenish on order. So let's click the box next to it. Keep in mind that MTO always has to be paired with another route, either buy, manufacture, or resupply subcontractor, if that option is available. So it won't function if selected alone. Since we are manufacturing this product and not purchasing it from a vendor, we are going to check the box next to manufacture. So this tells Odo that we want to replenish the product only when there is a need for it by manufacturing. Also make sure that you have set up the product's bill of materials. This contains all the information needed to manufacture the product. Finally, don't forget to save your changes. And now let's see how the setup works in practice. So let's head into the sales module, click new to create a new quotation, and select any customer who wants to buy our coffee table product we've just configured. Once we confirm it, Auto automatically triggers the make to order replenishment rule, which creates a manufacturing order indicated by the manufacturing smart button that appears at the top. If you click on it, this brings us to the corresponding manufacturing order for this coffee table. The main point is that the MO is linked to the sales order that created it. It also means that the product is reserved for that specific sale order and can be used for any others. Now all you have to do is to manufacture and deliver this table to the customer. And that's how you can set up and use make the order in Odo 17. It's a powerful tool to streamline inventory management and align replenishment with the real demand. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.